We have a block against the wall being pushed upwards with constant force F at some kind of angle beta. Let's fill in some information for this first. Let's have force applied equal 100 newtons. The coefficient of friction equal to 0.20. Mass equal to 6.0 kilograms. And let's let the angle theta equal 70 degrees. Our job is to figure the normal force so we can get friction force and then eventually figure out the acceleration of the block. Right, let's analyze the applied force to find the angle theta, this time relative to the horizontal. It's always nice to construct a parallelogram in order to figure out what's going on. There's the parallelogram. The force going in this direction would be force x, and the one going upwards would be force y. Let's write this over here for clarity. So here's the applied force f. We break this into x components and y components like always. Here's angle theta. Here's force x, and here's force y. In this case, normal force will be perpendicular always to the surface. It's pointing opposite of our force x. Therefore, force normal is not going to be determined by gravity. It's going to be determined by the force applied. Force normal will be force x. In this case, force normal would equal 100 times the cosine of 70. And that equals 34.2 newtons. To get friction force, Always equals force normal times mu, so we'll do 34.2 multiplied by the coefficient of friction of 0 0.20, and this equals 6.84 newtons. Again, a reminder that friction force is always force normal mu, but normal force can be found by quite a, a few different ways. Now, if we go back here and take a look, we can identify the forces acting on the object. The one going upwards would be force y. And that should be opposed okay, by two forces going downwards. One would be friction force. And another one of force gravity. Now for clarity, we'll write the net force equation down here. Force net would then equal force y minus force of friction minus force of gravity. And of course, this equation will use to find our acceleration. So for net force, we always do mass times acceleration. So 6a equals force y, which would be 100 times the sine of 70 minus the friction force already found above, 6.84, minus the gravity force, which is 6 times 9.8. And our job is to figure out acceleration by dividing the right side by 6, and acceleration is going to be 4.7 meters per second squared. <laughs>